developed nation services represent 70, 75, 80% of GDP. Even in China, which we think about for infrastructure and mining and construction, services represent close to 50% of the economy and that number is growing rapidly. So when we talk about services, what we're talking about is where the growth in the world is coming from. When we talk about innovation, we're typically talking about product innovation and services hasn't changed a lot over the last 50 years. If you took someone from the year 1950 and uh, put them into an emergency room in 2010, it would look very much the same. So if you think about the retail experience in 1963 versus 2003, very much the same. And I use that time frame pretty deliberately because over the last 10 years, things have started to change pretty dramatically. You know, the average customer spends a significant portion on, online, uh, of their time online researching a product before they come into the store for a big ticket purchase. They likely know more about the product and the competitive products than our salesperson. So what's the role of a salesperson in that environment? How do we want the salespeople to engage with our very well-informed customers who are coming in now less for a shopping experience and more for a specific occasion? They know what they want. And so I've got to think very differently about how I train my salespeople, what tools I give them, what information I give them access to, uh, you know, how do I think about my offer presentation and pricing in a way that makes the store visit compelling? These are all things that I have to think about in the context of evolving the services experience. Historically, I'd say retailers would think about innovation by looking at what other people in the retail industry are doing. And healthcare providers would think about innovation in the context of what other healthcare providers are doing. And I think one of the things that we've seen is the services economies become more prolific uh, globally. And as we've seen services innovation start to pace with product innovation, is these lines between sectors are coming down. And so what I experience in a retail environment or what I experience in a healthcare environment informs what I feel like I should experience in my travel environment or what I should experience in you know, some other walk of life that you know, is, is part of my services experience day to day.